we good? I believe we're good. And I love that. Mm-hmm. I am. Um, I'm a little upset at you, actually. Upsetty spaghetti. Yeah, okay, that's the one. Okay. Um. Explain. You never answered my question. Which question would that be? If, if I would, would love you, you as a three-legged chair held by correct. an anime girl. Well, she you didn't the anime girl Susan May's part of it. She's involved. <laughs> and she is part of it. <laughs> she is part of it. She is involved. Right. But yeah, if I, I was, was thrown a chair, I was thrown off with when, the three legs. Well, not I mean like partially by the three legs. Mostly because clearly there was there should be a fourth leg. Mhm. There's nothing wrong with a three legs chair, but like there was just one, two, three, and then there was a corner that had no leg and no other form of support. So that chair going to fall. And, and it I, does. And it I hate does that when, for a chair. When, that's, it does happen. That's a shame. Yeah. And then I was further thrown when you said something about running. And then I was mm-hmm. imagining that little chair on mm-hmm. its little three little legs running. I couldn't find running. a gif of it running. I, I didn't really look that hard, but uh, oh. yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so so real. Yeah, I didn't care for that. Let me explain to you. I didn't respond to that. I now I I'm, on multiple levels I, actually. I, I, <laughs> on multiple levels, I don't support you being a chair because first of all, that chair doesn't that chair doesn't support itself. That was that, that except it hard. does. Okay. So okay, it's so got its own house. Yeah, its own kids. So it's this movie, Suzume. Uh huh. Very beautiful film. Absolutely so stunning. Uh, no, I don't think mm, so. Knockoff. Yeah, it's a knockoff. Delete. It's uh, Gudio Stibli. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with with my Paditas tracksuit. Um, it, uh, it's about this this girl who meets pretty boy, long hair, cute mm-hmm. handsome man who's like, I'm looking for ruins. Me. <laughs> okay, so so Eric's in the movie. I'm looking for ruins. You're looking for ruins. That's a mood though. And she's like, the only ruins I could think of are like my pussy. <laughs> They're right here. At the end of the film. Oh. oh no. you, 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 <laughs> I, this movie is absolutely fucking insane. I'm not okay. going to spoil it, but I am going to, I guess, like, <gasps> okay. the setup, like, the, the, the concept sped up, like, setup. Okay. What do you have? No, no, no. It's, it's, okay. it's you, nothing You'll important. remember it? I'll remember it. That's okay. what these are for. Good. Okay. So, because, like, the, the reason why I'm like, would you love me if I was a chair? He doesn't turn into a chair until about, like, 40 minutes into the movie, 30, 30 40 minutes into oh, the movie. Oh, is one of the legs his penis? No. Oh. No, it's actually way sadder why there isn't a leg. Is it one of his arms? No, no, no. It has nothing to do with him. Oh. No, this no, is no. not about him. No, well, so I love this. Subverting you, the male gaze. Well, no, no. He, the chair he turned into is Suzume's childhood chair that her mom made her. Okay. And it had four legs. Is this like a kink thing? No. No, it's actually like he turns this, into her this chair. movie's about like, it's kind of like a criticism on how like, the Japanese government, like, and how they treat like disaster victims and like relief and like the the loss. It's his penis leg, though, right? Yeah, it's his penis leg. He he's got no cock. Got it. But there's two little lines for his eyes. Yeah. And at one point, she is like, wh- "Where, where?" She goes to like kiss him, like, because like as like a like, oh, it'll like break the curse. Like, there's right. no way that would work. But so she's like, where I don't I don't know where his mouth is. Uh-huh. Like she's genuinely confused. classic question. Whenever he falls asleep as a chair, he just falls forward. I love that. And I you would love it. I do love that. Like you would love this movie. Does like the fall wake him up? Me- no, 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 no. That's he's just out. Dead stop. Yeah, and she doesn't know how to wake him up. Whoa. She just carries him around. Me. She's, that's why like her holding the chair is like he's asleep. Like, this like, is my hot boyfriend looking for my ruined pussy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, to be ruined. <laughs> God. Okay. So, so basically, uh, uh, girl is like, oh, there's this guy, this really pretty cute guy, and like, she has like a weird dream or some shit, and like, she like sees him on her way to school, and then it's just like, there's something about him. All right. Maybe it's the, the ruined boy. A chair. A chair. I mean, yeah, she, the chair's not part of it yet. Okay. There's no chair. Okay. He's just a pretty boy. Got it. Looking for ruined pussy. Yeah. Looking for ruined pussy, and. She decides to like, like, it's like, oh, there's like this like ruined part of town that was like destroyed in like earthquakes or some shit. Okay. Uh, so she goes and uh, she ends up like having this hunch. She says, fuck school. I'm going to go to those ruins because there's just something she's like drawn to him. She goes and she shows up in the middle of these ruins, like this ruined city. Car alarm. Is that my car? I doubt it. We could check. Yeah, let's pause, pause real quick. 
Okay, it wasn't it wasn't my car. It was no one's car. <laughs> it was the car inside the house. It wasn't. Anyway. Anyway, so she goes to this she goes to the the ruined place, like the you know, destructed old part of town. Yeah. And uh and there's like a bunch of water, like a little like waterlogged area. Okay. And there's just a door okay. standing up in okay. the middle of this this area. Does she have to speak friend and enter? No, but she does like open the door. Okay. And it's like space. Okay. And she's like, what the fuck? And she like walks through the door and just like. Into space? Out the other side. Okay. And then she looks back through the door and it's like she can still see the stars. So like for whatever reason, she can't actually go into wherever this door is showing. Okay. But the door is open. Okay. And, and then she like finds this little rock in the ground. Okay. This little This little keystone and she like pennsylvania calling a little bit she pick pipeline 2020 uh pulls up the little rock and it's like a big like cat looking like little like carved idol sort of thing and like she pulls it up and she's like what the fuck it then like transforms and jumps through the portal or through the the doorway thing and she's like what in the fuck and like has no idea what's going on she went through the portal it's important Okay. She's like, I don't know what's going on with all this. I'm just going to go home. So she like leaves. She goes back to school. She's late. <laughs> <laughs> and then she looks and she's like, do you guys see that? Do you guys see the smoke? And people are like, the fuck are you talking about? And there's like a bunch of smoke coming out. And of like back in the ruins where she was at. And she's like, how does no one else see the smoke? What right. the fuck? Like no one sees it. Okay. Because she's got. She went, the, she went to the door. Right. So she now got she door can see. eyes. She got door eyes. Okay. Yeah, like Dory right. from Finding Nemo. Mm-hmm. Okay. So P. then P. as she keeps a, was Wallaby, Wallaby Way, Way, Sydney something. Yep. Yeah, Sydney's nuts. Um, <laughs> uh, it, the, the smoke keeps growing, and it looks like a giant. Oh, it's getting bigger. It, that's literally it. And it's a giant worm that's coming up. Okay. And so she I'm like. Listening. Yeah, yeah. Big worm. Yep. Like coming out of the sky, black with like tendrils and shit. Okay. No one can see it. Yeah. Nobody can see it. Yeah. She goes back because she's like, "What the fuck's going What's on? Worm? What's worm? Gotta stop this fire. What? Where's where's, where's the, the worm? worm? Where's, where's the, the worm? worm?" And then people uh, clamoring for the third episode of uh, yeah of the, <laughs> the uh, oh, T Rocket. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we should we should do that soon. That'd be fun. Um, We're not equipped. Uh, not at the moment. Well, a, a couch cast? Not on the couch cast. Uh, we, can't play, we can't play on the couch. Oh, uh, Uh, (laughs) fucking a uh goes and then like the big worm is coming out of the door it's super fucked up and it's like crazy and the the pretty boy's there and he's like trying to shut the door okay because it's like he's like we gotta fucking shut the door and he's doing like a little prayer thing and he's like remember the memories or some shit well but but, but, but it doesn't work and they end up like fucking up and like they can't close the door in time okay. and the worm falls okay. causing an earthquake okay. which is kind of given the idea of like whatever's going on with these doors locking these doors prevents the earthquakes that happen in japan okay. for like the disaster kind of part okay. and this is all to explain why he's a chair okay, okay? this is um, all very important you're, yep. you're on board so pretty yep. boys there We're on a walk she's like oh my god my boyfriend he doesn't know it yet yeah. Like, I love him. I want him. I'm going to go help him. And she tries to the door. And he's like, you need to get the fuck out of here. How can you see this? And she's like, I can see. I went through the door, bro. She didn't say that she went through the door. Love that. Love withholding information. Uh-huh. Yeah. Love that. It doesn't really suitor. come up. It doesn't come up at all. Well, like, I don't think they really ever discussed that she went through it. But she did take out the keystone and release the keystone. Okay. Which is what that little, the pipeline was. Right. Does she thing. tell him okay. that? Yeah. Okay. Because she just like it showed up, and so she just like picked it up, uh, not knowing what it was doing. Girl boss material. Quite, the, quite the story. Thank you. So then, uh, we fast forward a bit, and like it falls, shit's kind of fucked. They are able to like shut the door in time or something. I don't fucking remember. One of the two, you, like something like that happens, and they go to like do another door, and then the cat. So that keystone turned into this weird cat thing and ran off. Meow. The one and the same. Okay. The cat shows up and it goes, hi, Suzume. Uh-oh. Oh, terrifying. Don't love that. To be very clear, it is very unsettling that the don't, cat talks. Don't care for that. He goes, hi, Suzume. I love, you know, you're my friend. And he goes, looks at the guy and he goes, you're in the way. Uh-oh. And then blinks, dude turns into a chair. Loves it. 
and I'm like, I'm talking in like a, a five second interaction. Loves it. Like there's no build up, There's no transformation. He's just Beep. chair. Yeah. Loves it. Just a little bit of, uh, uh, chair. <laughs> he goes, can I be a human? No, nope. no off topic question. No off topic. What you have it. Period. <laughs> Your chair. Period. Exactly. Is he a chair? <laughs> Correct. And so he's just now a fucking chair. And then, one, what would you do if I turned into a chair? I don't think I would handle that well because that doesn't happen in real life. No, not of course not. Of course not. Yeah. And so if it did, it would probably you'd probably lose your fucking mind. Yeah. And then like I could still talk. Like I wouldn't just, like that. My voice is coming from the chair. Yeah, I don't like would that. Would you kill me? If you asked me to. Uh, no, would you want to kill me, regardless if I asked? <laughs> Depend on what you said. I mean, same shit. Ooh. I feel like you would. I don't know if I, I feel answer. like we wouldn't go on a quest to make me not a chair. We would just continue the podcast, <laughs> and like I'm just a chair. I'd just prop you up. Yeah. Well, no, you don't. Have, he doesn't need to be propped up. He can stand. Yeah, but you would need to be propped up. Why? Look at you. <laughs> like I'm sturdy. <laughs> Three legs. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> I got my little kickstand. <laughs> it's I'm more of like a lounger, <laughs> like a reverse, a reverse lounger. Like, like if I was a chair, would I would I chair like this? Right. That was not what I wanted. To do. <laughs> that was. I didn't think about that. Fully. Right. You're hiding behind the hype. Uh, and aren't we all? <laughs> uh, truly. Honestly, I just I wish I would have wore pants. I'd probably just like uh, sneak you back and let Sin try to solve the problem. <laughs> Sin's gonna know what to do. No, but it's out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> God, you're a bitch. I thought about if you would have turned into a chair, right. what I would have done. I would have. I'm like, well, you could still record audios. That part. And you're just a chair. Yeah. Nobody has a no. It's just audios. Come to my chair, Treon. <laughs> chair base. I just like like the the whole movie's really beautiful. Go watch it. It's on Crunchyroll or fucking whatever. Uh, it's two hours. It's great. Uh, it's wonderful. It makes you cry and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And you find out like, cause like she had the chair as a kid and it was for her mom made it. Cause like she's raised by her aunt because like her mom died okay. and like their, their t like t house got destroyed and shit. And like okay. she couldn't find her mom. And then she has this dream where she's given the chair and it has three legs. She's like, I don't know what happened. Okay. She's just like, it, I don't know. Fucking chair legs gone. They don't fix it. Because I think if, like, they she, they would have tried to find a fourth leg and just, like, put it on there for him, like, I wonder if that would have been, like, invasive. Right. Like, <laughs> what would that have felt like? like stick up your ass. <laughs> a little bit. Getting pegged. Oh. A little pegging. Maybe that's just how they learn more about one another. It could be. But it's very cute. I, I love, I love, like, like, obviously people are going to freak the fuck out if like they see a talking yeah. walking chair yeah so like he just like goes chair on a bitch yeah and, like, she'll just like she's just carrying around her little chair yeah. everywhere they go because she like runs away from home because they're going to all the different gates to to lock them yeah because the cat was like you're in the way you're a chair and then goes see you later and leaves yeah that would be upsetting so they try to track the cat guess how they track the cat they go pss, 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 pss. no better than that they put out some meow mix no no the cat becomes like famous work because like the cat shows up everywhere and so people are posting about it online love it so they're using social media and tv to like follow the cat to like track the cat down to like get them to get him to turn her back like turn him back if and he just doesn't that's rude he never does that man stays a chair I didn't say that. Okay, work. Okay. I don't want to spoil it. it. But I, the only thing I will spoil is the cat never changes him back because he was in the way. And I'm like... And that's tea. That's terrifying, a being with that much power. Yeah, I don't care for that. It felt like my cat. It felt like Zuki, like watching, like if he could talk. Do you think if Zuki had powers, he would use them for good? No. Yeah, no. Well, At they, all? he'd use them for his benefit. Right. Like... This is, an, um, this is a non-lawful... Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, well, today's his birthday, by the way. Cool. I'm here on my cat's birthday. This was important. Yeah. It's not every day we get to film the 101st episode. I don't know what to tell you, man. Well, yeah. Couch cast, baby. <sighs> Last week was too much. I'm still coming back from it. I can't I can't believe it. My voice is still a little gone. I think you can hear it. Yeah. I was hungover for like a day and a half. 
It was a lot. It was crazy. It was a lot. I can't believe. Did you get all like the streamer shit out of it? Like all the confetti? I don't even really know. I mean, like, I think I like I had to dump the vacuum like three times. So I feel like I, feel I better like... have fucking got all fuck, of it. <laughs> I hope I don't find any. It's gonna piss you the fuck off <laughs> if I do. <laughs> if you find it, say nothing. <laughs> I just uh, pocket it. Just quietly pick it up. Pick it up and put it in the in the little like back when you're in the back seat of someone's car and you're like, oh, I don't know where to hold my my little trash. So you just. You just tuck put it. In the it. Door. You, just, you just tuck it. Just tuck it. In the tuck door. it somewhere. Just tuck it and forget it. Tuck it and fuck it. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I hello. peaked that. Oh, we could do the hello. 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 And welcome, welcome to, to the, the Hell Yeah Couch Couch Cast. I fucked it up wow. last week. Wow. 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 Right. Right. Wow. No. 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 Wow. No. No. You know what? No. Demonetize. Ooh. Ooh. Claims your video. Ooh. Oh. Actually, you got it right last week, and I fucked it up, and now mm. I got it right this week, and you fucked it up. Uh, you right. <laughs> Adobe Cloud. <laughs> an that, actual uh, error. Oh, no. It's not even an error. It's just an alert. It's a warning. It's, oh, it's oh, a warning. Oh, I hate to warn you about this, but oh, mm. oh update necessary. Oh. oh, no, my pussy popping. Oh, update so my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Update this pussy. I got this new pussy update. <laughs> Shit is slime. But weirdly, it centered it centered my pussy on the task bar, and I always liked it on the left. <laughs> I actually have my, my one major complaint. My, my pussy like auto hides. <laughs> I have to scroll over it. I gotta touch it to remember it's there. You know. You can actually like pin your pussy to the top. People oh. don't know that. Oh really? I, I, do you pin? Hey 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 hogs. Hogs. <laughs> Do you where do you pin your pussy? Put it in the pig pen down below. Do you pin it on the top? I pin this it from the back. And top. Yes. So we <clears throat> full circle, baby. Anyway, you wouldn't love me if I was a chair. Fuck you. Yeah, that'd be diff- that'd be tough for me. Mm-hmm. That'd be tough for me. I'd need you to turn back into a human because that'd be tough for me. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I'd need you to fix that. I, I also would like it fixed. <laughs> to be clear, I I would not be well, happy. You famously chair. desiring to be a chair. Yeah. That's tough for me. Well. Well, and we all just want to be sat on a little bit. <laughs> and that's fucking tea right there. Mm-hmm. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, right. Right. The bottom! I feel more emphatically about it than right, right. I would need, I need, I need an excited, I need a major key version of right, right. Uh-huh. You ever think about that? Would it be, um. But do you ever think Ooh. about that? <laughs> if you do it right. Um, so. Slime. I, work. I've been watching myself in the mirror no i've been watching who's the man in the mirror <laughs> claimed um Ooh. yep i've been watching a channel that uh <laughs> you really think you ate with that one <laughs> roll, roll, raggy <laughs> i'm ruben run So, I, <laughs> stop. Um, so I've been watching a channel who makes. Um, don't you fucking do it. Sorry, I had to swallow. Who uh, the? Mm-hmm. I believe he had a channel, and I think it got like taken down by YouTube, and then he like made a new one, and so I think the new one is called the Unlucky Tug. Because I think his original was called The Lucky Tug. And then he's like, oh, well, I got like shut down. So I guess I'm not that lucky. Oh, that's so clever. The Unlucky Tug, I think. Mm-hmm. I think. I, mm-hmm. I can't remember his original channel name. But the lore of the tug is surprisingly deep. deep. But anyway, it's called The Unlucky Tug. Um, he does like... Uh, so obviously as a, as a child. A trifle wild. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right. Wait. Uh, uh, uh. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Yep. Uh, so I watched... Mary? <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so I, I watched um uh thomas the tank engine mm-hmm. the model series w- when yeah. i was when i was a child a seminal classic indeed when i was a child the perennial and um the perennium and ew Ooh. okay yeah <laughs> i'm not joking bitch <laughs> i believe you Stop. I believe you. <laughs> uh, 
I watched Thomas the Tank Engine. Okay. This guy does videos. It's a lot of like behind the, the, behind the scenes, like production stuff okay. and everything. Um, so it's cool to learn about like you know childhood shows that you watch like from the other side of like how they were made and everything. Ooh. Ooh. Um, yep. Oh, we. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And blue cold. So I've been watching <laughs> videos yeah. where he talks about that and everything. And you've so been watching video. I've been watching. I gotta videos. stop. Okay. And so he called out like a couple standout episodes, and I was like, you know, I haven't seen those old episodes in, you know, nigh on twenty years. Twenty, 20 upwards of twenty five years um, on some of these. Um, cause you know, Oh, there was one that I had that we need to put on here where it was act. Yeah. That one needs to go back. Yeah. On. I'll bring that flash drive over next time. Yeah. I'll bring that. I'll bring that. Pussy <laughs> back. <laughs> all the bitches don't know how to act. Uh huh. I feel like we had more sounds on here. Did we like really skimp out on them? I think we did. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I had to give you one. Um, we didn't add most of them on. I don't know why I'm like holding it up as I'm quietly <laughs> like. Um, <clears throat> we were playing with a lot more of them, but then we didn't put them on. We just threw a couple on. Work. Um, we just like threw a couple on. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I choked. <laughs> okay, so you were watching Big Tug. Or sorry, unlucky, unlucky Tug. Tug. Thank and you. It's, it's it's like behind the scenes production. Yeah, and so he called like, out a couple episodes, and I was like, I want to actually go back and watch those episodes. So the Ringo Starr one. Uh, actually, George Carlin. I mean, like I. So I was I was raised on the Ringo Starr and the George Carlin ones because interesting fact. So Ringo Starr was the voice for seasons one and two, in the uh, in in the English the original like UK dub um and then when it got picked up to start airing in i almost just said arizona in the united states did it air in arizona it did on pbs um in the united states though you know it's thanks to people like me and that, you that this is possible mm-hmm. public broadcast baby release a boomafoo thank you um he didn't do it <laughs> So uh, when they repackaged it for a United States audience, they wanted to make like longer episodes. They invented this like framing show called Shining Time Station. Oh. Um, and uh, as part of that, they added the character of the conductor who was, who was a little man about six inches tall. Okay. Who had a little like magic whistle. He would, whoosh, and then that would take us to like the, so it was like this whole like, Kind of like um, uh, Mr. Rogers with like the land of make believe. Yeah, where, like it was like let's a... zoom the camera in, and yeah, it's all puppets, but like mm-hmm. oh wait, now it's all the scale. Yeah, and it was like a variety show kind of a thing where it was like like there SNL. Was this, there was the, <laughs> exactly like SNL. George Carlin, Bobby <laughs> Moynihan, <laughs> which was so funny because he was just a little kid then. Um, he was six inches tall. <laughs> <laughs> he was also six inches tall. Wasn't part of it though. Um, yeah, he, well, it's because he didn't get Indian in the cupboard. <laughs> So he had to go for the. He had to go you gotta for get them. something. So well, you're six inches tall, baby. Listen, you got to make it happen. Steps to limit. <laughs> so uh, they had the conductor. They filmed it originally with Ringo Starr, mm-hmm. uh, who was great. He did a great job. Um, but then they wanted to. But then for seasons three and four, Ringo didn't want to come back. So they got bring back Ringo. <laughs> so they got George Carlin. To be the conductor for seasons three and four. And George Carlin also then went back and revoiced seasons one and two for all of like the VHS editions and everything. Oh, cool. Of a, a very um, Christopher Nolan tease. Mm. Nope, not Christopher Nolan. No. That's Ghost, right? Nope, the other one. Nolan North. Nolan North. Uh, very Nolan yeah. North versus Dinklebot. Um, T. Mm-hmm. Roll it back. Right. Yeah, right. 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 We should have a second right, right. That's like two times speed. Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you, I need major key right, right. How do we do that? I don't know. It's like when people do the people do that. And I don't know what this. I don't know how to do all that. I'm not gonna Google it. Someone was like, <sighs> I mean, people are just like things, you know. People do things. You know, you Some could just do things. You could just do it, and like you could just have a hundredth episode. Yeah. And you could just throw a fucking rager. It was fucking sick. And you could just film it. <laughs> And that'd be cool. Yeah. 
we and we would know. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Well, we canceled the. Well, we deleted the channel. Well, we had to. Yeah. It was the promise. We never told which channel. Hundredth episode. <laughs> no. When we made the hundredth episode channel. Uh, hype one hundred. God. Oh my God. And then we had to the delete years, the hundredth the hundred, anniversary. Right. And then we had to delete the hype one hundred channel yeah. at the end of the episode. It sucked. Yeah. You had to be there. It was a little bit of like an unis thing. Yeah. It was wild though because we we weren't live, but they had to be there. Yeah. So. <laughs> it just sounds like we got drunk. <laughs> I broke my sobriety for that hundredth episode. We just we just hung out and like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, man, it sucks to suck, nerd. Wild, yeah. So, we were risen. George Carlin, okay, part of it involved. Uh, so he recorded the voice of the narrator of these episodes, uh-huh. and he threw his whole Carlinusy into this thing. Mm-hmm. He really like. He performed these voices. His th- his th- uh, his thrusty. Because what you need to know about like the Thomas the Tank Engine episodes for those who for the for the unwashed masses uh, who are unaware, um, the the narrator voices both the narration and the characters themselves. So he has to like, you know, if he wants to make like character voices, he can do that. It depends oh, on who's narrating okay. it. So like Ringo usually didn't like go in too hard on voices. He usually was just kind of like reading it as though he was reading a storybook, but just like. Like he was reading it to you, like as if you were like, like you, like you would read the story to like a kid, right? Like he, but like, but not like a fun parent, like a distant parent. Because you know how like a fun parent will be like they'll make up a little voice for all the different characters. Oh, it's a parent. That, hey, they're meeting. It's a the parent who's trying. It's a parent who worked all day, and is it, tired. It's a it's a parent who's like we've read this book six times. Exactly. Ringo was like the sixth time reading it. George Carlin was time number one, and he's fucking ready. every time. So he's pulling voices for everybody. Like he's like like his like James voice. Like hello, Gordon. Like he's pulling like shit. <laughs> oh, work. Which okay. is it's it's it's, it's, cute. A, it's a vibe, and I love him for that. He is dead, and he was married. Is he still married? Uh, I guess that depends on your interpretation. Was of he the buried afterlife. with his ring? He was buried with his wife. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> right. I don't know if that's true. That was Sorry, the police calling. <laughs> <laughs> also, for the record, I fucking love George Carlin. I knew him as the conductor from my childhood, and I was like, he's such a like sweet man. And Ooh. then I right, later, my dad was like, oh, like this is his like comedy stuff where he is it's like fuck piss shit. Where he's very angry and very cursy, but like also has a point usually. I don't, some he may have said some questionable stuff, so I I can't abide I, I would, everything I he would, said. Well, yeah, like I, I personally, I'd say like. Especially for the time, relatively based. The parts that I have seen, he made some salient points. Yeah, um, but just like everybody, everyone's got shit takes. Yeah, so um, couldn't be worse than Joanne. But keep going. That's take. Mm-hmm. But uh, so he's like really like giving these voices his all. Do you remember that clip that I sent you that was from Thomas the Tank Engine, where it was like the troublesome trucks like bumping into each other, like wailing and moaning. Vaguely, Would it you, was not recent. Here, allow me to give you the audio yeah, real yeah, quick, yeah, please. Uh, just so that you, you get could, the purity of the original film. Because I just I need you to remember. But okay, so basically, I'm saying all of this to say I went back and watched some Thomas the Tank Engine episodes, mm-hmm. which I had done, I think like two years ago when I sent you that clip. Mm-hmm. Um, but I ended up just watching. But when I sent you that clip, I was only you asking me if I remembered a clip you sent me to. That's some shit I would do. I never mind. Thank you. But yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 And right. 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 Roll yeah. that back. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Let me. Um. Let me. No off-topic questions. Thank you. Period. <laughs> so, and again, all of this was not to bring up that clip that I showed you two years ago because mm-hmm. two years ago all I watched was like the Duck and Diesel episode, mm-hmm. um, which is fine. Yes, but then this time I went back and watched some more. And so watching them back because they're really short, so I was like, and I was having to do some stuff for work because work's been fucking nuts. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was like, you know what? Good Fuck passive. it. I'm just gonna throw it on in the background because like, who cares? It's just like a kids show, like it's just noise. But it's also really like nostalgic and cool on your TV. Yeah. <laughs> in the background in the background i love that yeah and um what? some of the lines in these books so keep in mind thomas the tank engine is based on a book Base? series called the railway series and it was written by a reverend reverend uh something something audrey um and uh so he was you know a pretty like fairly clean cut guy a pious individual and also keep in mind a lot of these stories were like yeah i mean they were 
published in 1945 or something. Mm -hmm. Um, Been there, done that. Yeah. And like he came up with them well before that because they were originally like children's stories that he would like tell to his son, Christopher. And then eventually his wife was like, you should write these down and turn them into a book. And he did and got them published. Blah, blah, blah. Great. Love that. All of that to say. So I don't think he meant some of these things the way that they sound nowadays. Oh. So the word choice. And also some of it may be like a UK versus US thing, especially a UK in 1945 versus a US in 2024 kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Um, So first of all, here is a perfect what? Can you take a sip, please? You you got a little horse there at the end. The 100th episode was wild, baby. (laughs) Pony up. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Um, So this is unrelated, but also fun. So here's an example of um, George Carlin really shooting the moon when he's like performing this. The car's grown. Get into that. I don't know if I have the sounds to to describe (laughs) how I feel. I'm looking to get this episode demonetized. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so stop. he, so he, mm-hmm. he gives it all. Oh yeah, it's I, he had to have done those in two different takes. What? Both of those moans? There's no, no. Well, no, no. The moans and then immediately the car is grown. There's no. There's oh, no. Oh. The car. the car is grown. And I love him for that. I hope he did do it in one fucking day. I bet he did. If you could bring back anyone from the dead to ask one question, would it be George Carlin? It'd be like, George Carlin. I'd be like, did you do that in one take? Also, could you like revoice seasons five and six? Thank you. Mm. I mean, he didn't voice them, but like Alec Mm. Baldwin did. (laughs) And I'm like, so George Carlin could like, like if George Carlin was alive, I wish George Carlin had had, uh, lived longer even if for no other reason than for, for Tom the tank engine. Yeah. Then just cause like, you know how, like if, if uh, nowadays, like if someone doesn't like, like the new voice actor or something, they'll like, like pay the actor on cameo or Fiverr or something to be like, can you actually go back and like re-record all the lines, even though you weren't the voice actor. And then they'll make like a fan dub with like the actual voice actor that they oh, wanted. Wow. You know how people do that? No. Say but, yes. But yes. Thank you. You did get a point. When for I that. when I'm obedient, I get it. <laughs> I get a point. <laughs> You're getting extra enrichment time tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh. So that would have been cool yeah. if George Carlin would have lived long enough to like enter an era where it would be easy to like pay him in order to like record the oh, yeah. the narration. For I think he'd five. also have a lot of a strong opinions about that entire concept. About what concept? About the payment. About paying him five dollars to say something. I pay him more than five. No, no, no. But just as like, just, I pay him far more. I'm than I'm saying five. the concept, at least six. Like, 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 not necessarily just for him, but like his commentary on that. I type think of he thing. would have some biting commentary yeah. on on the state of the world. What do you that think he think about the sphere? Which sphere? The Las Vegas sphere. What's that? You bitch! You don't know about the sphere. What's the sphere? Well, finish your story. Is that the? Yeah. Okay. It's. Um. So yeah, some of the look shit how they how orange you look. Girl, look how fucking orange you look. Some of the shit that they say in these episodes, uh-huh. wild. The one that like, Tell me I, about can't, I can't remember every example, which is such, it's such a pain in the ass. You could have written them down. I didn't think about it in the moment. It's okay. This was a. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 My favorite one, though, the one that, like, really, like, stuck with me is so, like, obviously, as you heard, George Carlin, like, really goes for it when he's trying to make, like, the effort sounds. And the mm-hmm. trains are often struggling because yeah. it's the island of Sodor. And they're working hard. And so there's a lot of like, uh, uh, like, you know, trying and everything. Uh. And the troublesome trucks are particularly loud. They don't like, I'm fascinated by that direction that, that the good reverend went where like the passenger coaches, the good reverend, like being used. They like it. They like being filled up with passengers. They like being pulled and pushed around gently they don't like being bumped. They don't like being bumped. Mm-hmm. But they like it. They like they like getting pulled around. Ooh. They like getting run a train on. So they're kind of like getting collared? Yeah. Nice. Strapped down, pulled around. Good pets. Yes. Yeah, okay. Good person. They like that. Um, look, look how many little swimmers I can fit in this bad boy. Going to the swim meet. And 
so they uh that's what i call my friday nights um and so they they pull coaches and the coaches like it and they're generally pretty good about it coaches and like, tend to and like, like it cool let's go with this although if you bump them they'll get pissy enough and they'll do something like when they busted their brake line on james oh no they couldn't stop james was too rough so they busted the brake line oh i don't like that yeah but so it's then, the island of Sodor. And so then they had to stuff newspapers in the brake line and they had to get a leather boot lace from one of the, the one of the passengers. And they were like, We need your leather boot lace. And he's like, I'm not giving you my leather boot lace. And then they're like, Then this train's not moving. And so then all the passengers were originally like, This railroad sucks. And then they were like, Well, here's the solution. We need this one passenger's boot lace or we're not going anywhere. And he was like, I'm not giving you my bootlace. And so then all the passengers shift and they're like, you suck. <laughs> and they shame the man into giving up his bootlace. That's insane. Yeah. But then they patch it up and James moves on. And that was the only passenger with a bootlace. A leather bootlace specifically. And so they all yell at him until he gives in. Could you imagine being a passenger on this train? A pa- being, being a run-of-the-mill uh, citizen Sodorite. on the island of Sodor mm-hmm. sounds horrible. I mean, you get to see the trains. And I mean, that'd be isn't sick. it just Pittsburgh? No. It doesn't have trains? Mm, does it? It has the Steelers. Oh. Uh, Steel works. Yeah, 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 it works. It works. It works. It's fine. Holly, explain. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about it. No, wrong <laughs> one. Yins. Rem- yins. 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 <laughs> So the coach is like being used. I should have brought my yin's mug. I wish I would have known we were going to do this bit. The troublesome trucks, who in the American dub are referred to as cars, Ew. because we call them freight cars rather than trucks. Oh. We don't want to confuse the children. It's very, uh, these are great jelly donuts. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's a rice ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's a regionalism. It's a four kids dub. It's a localization, mm-hmm. which is wild to do from UK to US. Love that. Um, yeah. So odd to go to the effort, but cool. Um, <laughs> but cool. <laughs> but cool. Fuck yeah. Trucks don't like being used. No. They don't want this. They're troublesome. It's in the name. Well, because they're compensated. It's in the name. Well, they're just dirty little freight cars. EA trucks. They're nasty. It's in the name. They're nasty, dirty little freight cars rolling around mm, in the, the dirt. dirt and the soot and the mud. Mm. And they don't want to get used. Like our little hogs. Yeah. Like our top tier hog trends. Yeah. They just like like wilding out and like screaming and moaning, um, also, oh! and they say horrible things. They're, really, they're very mean. No, oh, really. Yeah, they're very mean. Like um, like cruel. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like Gosh. they want every train to die, basically, <clears throat> which is pretty wild. Are they? But they're sentient themselves, aren't they? A train? They are. Sen- oh, no, 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 no. They want the locomotives to die. Oh, okay. The engine. Yes. So a train is like the full thing. Mm-hmm. The locomotive is the actual like motive power, the steam or diesel mm-hmm. engine. Um, the characters, if you will. that we love. Yeah. Well, some people love the troublesome trucks. They're characters. They're just not locomotives. Uh, they're like Tompa. They're rolling in stock. Hunter Hunter. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Right. They don't. They don't like it. That reminds me of something else that happened recently. Yeah. So they yell and they cry and they try to hurt people. Like, they'll slam their brakes on. They won't use their brakes. That's why Oliver one time had to brutally kill Scruffy in the middle of the yard where all the rest of them could see in an effort to get them in line. Oh, like in Sons of Anarchy when, like, Ope has to go. Yeah, like he gets well, you got to take him out. Yeah, yeah. And the well, that one wasn't in the yard. That was, like, uh, yeah. it was, it, they had to do, it was, a, it, it was a weird yeah, those later seasons get pretty intense. Yeah. But like, uh, justice for Oat Man. But yeah, so I'm just imagining them out in the fucking yard, in the prison yard of Sodor and just yeah. like, I'm going to kill this fucking train. So basically what happens with Scruffy, I've talked about this before. We have an mm. episode called the Scruffy Conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Great. Please refer back. For Please refer back. Basically. Can we, can we put an eye card for what, this one episode <laughs> to refer back to the Scruffy Conundrum? Basically like all the other cars slam on the minutes. brakes because Scruffy's like, fuck Oliver. We're, gonna, we're not moving. Mm-hmm. Fuck this guy. Fuck him we're stopping so everyone slams the brakes on Mm -hmm. which is weird that the trucks can control their own brakes but it's okay yeah and how that they play it real fast and loose with what the trains and rolling stock can do on their own and what they can't 
Okay. Because sometimes it's like, oh, uh, the trucks can like throw their brakes on and stop a problem. Other times it's like Thomas doesn't have his driver, so he can't slam on his brakes. So he's just going to fly off. But oh. Other times Thomas could like not go. And then sometimes there's this weird middle ground where like there's a runaway train that like slams into Duck from behind. And okay. Duck is trying to like slow it down before it like before they lose control. And because like Gordon was going up the hill and he had like a whole line of freight. Oh, shit. And maybe not Gordon. Maybe it was Henry. Because um, Gordon doesn't usually pull freight, but I think he might have had to do for this one. Oh, honey, look at all that, that wagon that they're dragging. And so, like, half of the train came off and started rolling down the hill. And Duck was running the other way. And so it slams into Duck. And so Duck is now trying to, like, slam on the brakes to, like, stop it in time. And, uh, this is intense. And so, like, they're slamming on the brakes. They're doing everything that they can. Um, they start flying into the station no where James course. is sitting right there on because they're on the main line. And so, like, he's about to crash into James, like, head on and kill them both. And, yes, <laughs> apply directly exactly to the, the forehead. forehead. And so the, the one driver, the yeah, his his driver and his um, uh, the other Green one, Bay. the other one, his fireman, his driver and his fireman, which driver is the British term for it? Engineer would be the the um. American one, but I yeah we're gonna go with driver. So the driver and the fireman are like, we've done everything we can, duck. It's all up to you. And I'm like, what do you mean it's all up to him? He doesn't have any abilities in this universe except for when they do. I'm like, what kind of agency are you putting on this train? Like you slammed on the brakes and you're like, okay, we literally applied your brakes, duck. At this point, it's all on you. Do what you can. And it's like. His only ability to stop this would be to turn on his own brakes, and you did that. Yeah. So now what is he supposed to do? Like, he's just existed. He's just, he's chained to, to his he, fate. He is, uh, like, w basically a tool to be used. And mm -hmm. I don't even mean that in a sexual way. Like, no, they literally yeah. are, like, in the original version of this, like, they have no ability to control their own functions. They just are alive. It's like if you had, like, a drill and it was alive and could talk, oh. but it can't do anything. You have still have to squeeze the trigger. Like it just can talk. Uh, yeah, like the cat. And yeah. Yes, and yeah. has opinions, but it can't move mm -hmm. on its own. Yeah. It can't drill on its own. It's just a drill, but it has a face and can talk. I put that away. That's kind of how the trains are. And now I know why they kind of like, you know what? Maybe those trains belong on Sodor. Except sometimes the trains can do things. Like in one of the earliest stories where Henry says, I'm not leaving this tunnel because I don't want to get wet. It's raining and he's like, this is going to ruin my paint. Henry refuses to leave the tunnel. And I'm like, how does Henry have the ability to stop leaving the tunnel, to have applied his own brakes, and then refuse to keep moving? Mm -hmm. But then meanwhile... When Percy runs away, when his driver gets out and Percy accidentally is like already going. And so Percy goes like flying backwards and then runs backwards halfway across the island of the Sodor and can't stop. Why can't Percy put on his brakes like Henry did? Inconsistencies in the writing, Reverend. Will I explain? Did you check some patch notes? I do actually think it was kind of an early installment weirdness situation where like the earlier ones are a lot less like rail accurate because they mm -hmm. were like very much just children's stories for Christopher. Ah, but still, because it's like, well, no, like you have the engineers pull the brakes or whatever, like to the kind of like teach kids about trains. Yeah, but like the Reverend Audrey also mm -hmm. got very angry. So like later on in the show in season five, three, oh, or four, mm -hmm. pre Baldwin, three or four, still Carlin, um. And we'll get back to that. Okay. I'm Cause, ready. Because my original point hasn't been made yet. Yeah, you had brought up the, <laughs> the, the unlucky tug. We'll get there. Um, I promise we're almost there. Please we've don't un click we, off. We've unfurled. We've unfurled. And we're, it's, uh, look, I know this about you. I trust and you. <laughs> trust goes both ways, baby. We always It's bring a it long back. walk. Three-legged chair. Yeah. We got to get to the Carlin running. cut. You would enjoy the way he runs. I I'll it. see if I can find a gift. So in season three or four, there's an episode called Henry's Forest. Henry stops on the main line to observe the trees. And that's like a regular thing that he and his driver and his fireman do. They go, Henry loves the trees. Henry loves the quiet. Henry loves seeing them. So his driver and his fireman will, will stop mm -hmm. and let Henry just like be in the forest for a little while, which is very sweet. I think that's great. And it adds a nice layer of character to Henry because Henry up mm -hmm. till now has often come off as kind of an asshole. 
Um, he's kind of like the least asshole of like the three big engines, but he's a little bit of an asshole. Mm-hmm. Um, also, he's the one that like in a later book, but was never adapted for an episode. They turned him into like the biggest Chad that ever Giga chatted. And like, it's it's called an episode called not well, it's a book called Super Rescue, where he like saves like two diesels in one. And then it's that picture at the end where he's like, mm. and I sent you that picture. And I said, you're going to tell me kind of like that. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of more of a, it's we're like, really only using mostly two of the legs. Yeah, he's like kind of like do it. He, he mentions that he's like, oh, it, it's a little weird, but I can do it. Okay. Yeah, he's very resourceful as a chair. Okay. I feel like you'd have to be. Well, it's only so much you can do. Yeah. Do you remember that mm-hmm. picture I sent you? Two years ago? <laughs> B- roughly two years ago of a picture of a train face looking like a Chad. And I said, you're mm-hmm. telling me this fucking train couldn't get it? Oh, yeah. Abs- I don't remember the picture in my head but i do absolutely remember you sending me this sort of meme that's henry in super rescue oh so great. henry also is like he could fucking get it though oh hell yeah at times How but big also is his some, gauge? sometimes he's a whiny little bitch though mm. but also they add a nice layer of his character when they have him like like the forest he just likes trees and he likes he, the like, quiet. Hey, he doesn't lose the forest for the trees that part he gets lost in the forest with the trees. So in seasons three and four, that was when they were able to start making their own scripts for episodes. They didn't have to only oh. use the books because they were running out of books. Mm-hmm. But Reverend Audrey was still alive. But he was like, I'm not going to write any more books. I'm um, tired. So they I'm were done. like making their own stories. And I so have he, sermon. Yeah. And so he had a huge problem with the episode Henry's Forest because he's like, that's ridiculous. Why would uh, his, you know, why would his like fireman and his, and, and his driver allow him to stop on the main line that why why would you brick a fucking train because he didn't want to get wet why would you brick a train and trap him reverend thank you fuck you reverend thank you thank you yeah he literally was like that breaks rule there's an interview where it's like a video that's saying where he's like this breaks rule 55 of the rail something something and he's like you mustn't block the main line for something something and i'm like reverend and I mean this with all due respect because I love the series you created. You literally wrote a story where that exact same engine is able to stop himself in a tunnel. The passengers get out and try to push a steam locomotive with passenger cars, try to push it out of the tunnel. People. People. Civilians. Were, were people also walled in? No, they got off the train. In order to attempt to push him. Mm-hmm. And then they, they tried to left. push him. And then they left the tunnel. And then they tie a rope to the front of the train and they try to pull him. I'm like, people, uh, random civilians in their like going to work clothes are pulling on a steam locomotive. Thousands of pounds Could steam you- locomotive to try to pull it out of the tunnel. And then they realize maybe we should have a train try to push the train out of the tunnel. Maybe this is more than humans could do. So then Thomas, originally James in the book um, version, oh. but they needed Thomas to feature in more things. So originally James, but actually he hadn't been announced as James yet. It was just a red engine that didn't have a number on it yet. But Yo, it's, little Jimmy. It's generally accepted that it was James. Uh, pushes on Henry to try to get him out, and he still somehow manages to not get pushed because like Henry doesn't want to go. I'm like, so, and so then they brick him up. which <laughs> He's bricked up. Which bricked up. That was one of the lines. That was one of the lines where it was something about like being something about bricks. being bricked up. And I'm like, girlies, <laughs> girlies. Ooh. They brick him up. So, okay. Which, okay. So they seal off a tunnel on the main line. To be clear, they sealed off the tunnel that's on the main line. Oh, it's oh, better than why that. Why are we sitting like. Okay, but it's better than that. So get into this. So get into this. I'm here. So on the island of Sodor. Yeah. In, Do you want me to come over there? You can come over here. Okay, yeah get into this <laughs> so in the railways and in in, in, uh, in the show okay the main line there's lot there's multiple main oh. lines uh there's multiple tracks on the main line are we good yeah i think it's just my uh your headphones wiggle wiggled yeah i think i pulled it out just as you see that little bit the little extra okay i think that worked okay so on the show um there's two tunnels and the main line goes on both. Mm-hmm. And so when they break up Henry, the other main line is able to keep going. And that's pretty oh. cool. So, but in the books, in the books, you know, the purity of the original text from uh-huh. the Reverend. Yeah. The, the Reverend's good word. The Reverend's good word. The um, New Testament. Yes. So it actually is. The Reverend, well, this is Old Testament. The Reverend Audrey version. <laughs> it's, the only, it's the only Bible I know. 
the main line actually only had one track that went through the tunnel. It was multiple lines that would then come together as a switchback and then go through the tunnel and then spread back out okay. because they weren't able to make the tunnel any bigger at the time. Mm-hmm. So in the Reverend's original story, they bricked up the only tunnel through this mountain and completely cut the main line in half in order to teach Henry a lesson. And they never, re- like, they just, like, really fucked up their own... Their entire railroad. How expensive of a mistake to teach a lesson. You know what? That's some Christian shit to do. <laughs> that part. <laughs> That's- and this is the same man who then was like, this train wouldn't stop in the forest and look at the trees. That breaks railway rule number 55. You, Andre, you son of a bitch. I'm like, Audrey, get it together. Okay. Mm-hmm. As a fellow reverend... <laughs> I find I As find a reverend that. in the Universal Life Church, I have a problem with this. Yeah, correct. Um, so all of that to say, um, some of the words that they use, uh-huh. very funny. <laughs> <laughs> when they talk about bricked up, I'm giggling. How could you not? My favorite one, though, is James. Uh-huh. James gets to pull a very, well, has to pull a very long freight train. And the troublesome oh. trucks are bad. They're bad. They're oh. naughty trucks. And they put on their brakes and they're really bad. These big terrible trucks stinky trucks <laughs> just little oh. hey stinky <laughs> trucks they don't want to go oh, oh no. no and they keep oh. going putting they they keep saying their things like make it hard for him make it hard for him <laughs> and then it goes to a part where it shows james like struggling up gordon's hill and he goes will the top never come <laughs> <laughs> After, like literally like the cars are chanting make it hard make it hard then he goes will the top never come <laughs> there's no way i swear on all that is holy that is what is said you know what the reverend would probably say what i'm not joking bitch he's like it was hard it was hard and the top would not come the top would not come when will my top come <laughs> to <bottom>! ask <laughs> <laughs> when will my top return from the war <laughs> Um, so anyway, yeah. So a lot of those lines, very funny. Ooh, fucking now good. in retrospect, especially with George Carlin giving it all he's got. Oh, just because when he's doing his James voice, he's given it. Like what, I said, what is, what is the James voice? So like George Carlin's normal voice is like kind of more like this, like the cars groaned, you know, like mm-hmm. pretty like level. For some reason, he does James like this. Like he's hello, a little... Gordon. Uh, it... Will the top never come? Uh, he's definitely a little queer. I didn't want to say gay. James is queer coded. Yeah, it sounds James is queer coded. Queer coded. Okay, not in the books. Is, is Thomas was, Ace? Um, I think most of the trains are. Oh, yeah. Which is I mean, that's great. It's great representation. Wow, wow. Showed your true fans your, your true feelings there for at first. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, T is 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 <laughs> earlier in the acronym than I. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's an order of operations, really. Yeah. <laughs> we got to get our lesbians in first. Yeah. You know, girl, girl, ladies first. They're massage. The, they're the framework on which it's mm-hmm. built. Then there's the gays. Right. Unfortunately, the bi's. Um, Allegedly. Then the tries. <laughs> <laughs> then the quads. And then I. I? Mm-hmm. I. And then Wolfie. I'm just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> and then Wolfie. <laughs> no. um, yeah. So, okay. yeah. That's, yeah. They're just, uh, some of the lines, very funny. The voice is very funny. James is definitely queer. So, in the books, James, James does, is definitely queer. James doesn't come off as queer in the books uh-huh. as much. But well, I'm sure the good reverend wouldn't know how to write a queer character. He wouldn't know how to write a queer character. But, um. Uh, James definitely in well he would make the argument that like there's no such thing as sexual orientation for a train that's not true I mean as, I, a, a, as a train fucker <laughs> <laughs> but in the show uh-huh. they definitely gave him more traditionally queer coded uh, traits like so traits? one of the th- oh so one of the things that like became a staple what I almost just took a sip of the <laughs> One of the things that became a staple of James's character in the show, but there was only very, only like one time actually like alluded to in the books, mm-hmm. was that James is incredibly vain and obsessed with the way that he looks. Oh, of course. Why shouldn't he be? Which is 
for right or wrong, uh, you know, often a, a, a queer coded, uh, you know, a trait for someone to have to be like very obsessed with, like you know, for mm-hmm. a specifically a male presenting character to be so obsessed with their looks, uh, yeah, um, and very vain, a little metro. Mm-hmm. Remember when that was a word? Shake it. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> they go to the metro station. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, two points. <laughs> um, and so like George Carlin definitely like gave it his all. Uh huh. He threw his whole pussy in it. Alec Baldwin. Oh. Took James in a very queer direction. We'll say that in a in a kind. I'm trying to be diplomatic. Do, do here. his do his like what are the what are the the big bars that go on the wheels that do this? His pistons. Do his pistons kind of do that? <laughs> Is it <laughs> so? Alec Baldwin, although I do not like his voice performance of any of the characters, he definitely did very distinct voices for all of them. Okay. Like his Gordon, his Gordon is always was to talk like this because Gordon's a big engine and uh, I'm so important. I got this. I can oh. do it. And I'm like, okay, that's a little okay. on the nose. Men. And then for some reason, his Henry voice is, he makes Henry sound like he's stuffed up the whole time and it keeps making him stiff. I'm like, why does Henry always tell like he's sick or also on coke? It's weird. That's a fuck. Maybe because Alex on coke. T. Uh, and so then for James, he decided, I'm just gonna make him gay. <laughs> 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 like no questions asked. He's like, just, he's like James is gay. Get it, get and, used to and it. And he is committed to that. So there's this part where like a tree starts to like fall toward. Does anyone hear it? Toward James. Does James hear it? And so well, James does. And so James literally screams, Oh help! <laughs> Like he basically does the Pinocchio voice for James, and it's it's wild. Like, oh help, oh help! Like he took the hello Gordon, and he went, mm, no, less of a character voice and more gay, <laughs> only gay, nothing more gay. There's no nuance. We're just gonna go, oh well. <laughs> like definitely watches tennis. Yeah, like, yeah, very that. Which that listen, representation matters, but like. Interesting choice for James. It felt a bit flanderizing. I didn't appreciate mm-hmm. that. It gives it some Jimmy energy. Yeah. 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 I'm going to pause it real quick. <laughs> pause it again. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pause it. So we can't... We can't say that's that. Pa- that's for the Patreon. That's for the Patreon. If you guys want to hear us say the F slur, you can join the Patreon. <laughs> if you guys want to watch the 100th episode. <laughs> The hundredth episode, and you want to hear this uncensored? Jesus <laughs> one, one, one sec, one sec. Mixed goods. <laughs> he does mixed goods. Oh, he can pull passenger just as easily as he can pull freight. Uh, but which does he do mostly? Um, he's usually pulling freight. James yeah. wants to think he's one of the big engines, and he is, but like he's the smallest of the big engines. Oh, so it's like he's bi, but it's because like he's not ready to come out as gay yet because bi ra- I would see I think bi erasure exists on right. the island, on the island of, Sodor. of Sodor. Yeah. And that James is actually representative of that struggle. Well no, he's a victim of that struggle. That part It's the real that team. part. Because Henry was actually supposed to be the express engine. He was supposed to be the big... But he's sick. That's why he's late. Exactly. So he can't be the express engine. He was but... supposed to be the big express engine, but he actually was like an... Ex- I can't get into the deep lore. I can't. Just go watch we, the... We already un- have. Go watch we the Unlucky Tug. We have the sphere. Um, fun fact, though. So later, the Reverend Audrey went back and wrote a book that was a more detailed like history of the island of Sodor, and it was written... Spe- Corrections. <laughs> well, and it was written specifically for like adults. Um, yep. Yeah. It was written for adults, so like he made it a little more like adult. And so one example of that is that so he wanted to explain the like the design of the trains and uh-huh. why some of like there was inconsistencies in the early drawings and everything. Okay. And so one of the ways that he did that was he explained that like the reason why Henry was having so many problems was because he was actually a experimental Atlantic. Oh. He was supposed to be an Atlantic. Uh, but he was this like fucked up experiment where they like stole the plans and then like built him in secret and then realized like, oh, the firebox is too small. This train sucks. So then they sold it to Sir Topham Hatt, the fat controller for my UK listeners, um, under false pretenses. And so then when the fat controller, Sir Topham Hatt, for my US listeners, um, 
when he then tried to have him pull the express, Henry couldn't work up enough steam. And he then in investigated and realized that this was a weird prototype, stolen plans, built engine that was not what he had been led to believe. And so then in the book where he's explaining that this all happened, Sir Topham Hack goes on a rant where he said, I wanted an Atlantic. And instead, that son of a bitch sold me this fucking thing. Talking about Henry. Cannon? Cannon. Cursed. Cannon. In the in the adult book, but Sir Topham Hatt like is a good enough guy that he's like, oh, I'm not going to sell Henry to scrap. That would be wrong. This is a thing. This is alive. So he instead is just like, well, you can just like pull freight and just suffer, and then event because Sir Topham Hatt is a not a he's he's his interesting morality especially there's a lot of inconsistencies early on um and so then instead they realize well if we get him welsh coal um it'll burn hotter and so then that'll make up for the smaller firebox and that works for one episode and so then henry uses welsh coal and he's just as strong as gordon and that's wonderful and then he pulls the flying kipper and he smashes into the back of another goods train not his fault the snow pushed the signal down um and uh the points were locked because of the snow and so he slams it into it, and it's a really like horrible accident. Um, That's a point for you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and so they send him to crew to be rebuilt, and they give him an entire new body. And it's a very ship of Theseus kind of situation where it's like, is it still Henry? But it is, because it still has Henry's memories. Um, maybe they just took the face off and put it on, on the new body. They didn't do that, but they might have. They might have, but they didn't. It, um, it really feels like... And they give him a whole new body type, and now he's great. And now he's just strong as Gordon. Super rescue, Chad. Okay, it it feels like kind of like human trafficking. Um, like not human. Uh, it feels like trafficking Thank you. in in the way that like he was created and then sold under false pretenses, which I understand is how trains. Well, usually they're not sold under false pretenses. Correct. They're but, mass produced but and sold. It sounds like he's a slave. Well. Well, he, he found you. The way that it's explained is that it's not, this is dark, it's not slavery because they're not people with free will. It's because they are literally tools with no ability to control themselves. Except when they can. Except when they can. So they have times. Again, inconsistencies. That's them controlling the narrative. We can't <laughs> let people outside of the island of Sodor know that the trains can do things well also in the world of Tom's it would the fuck up the engine, economy in the world of the railway series all of the every train in the world is alive not just on the island of sodor um but like the real world implications of like all of the steam engines getting scrapped and replaced with diesels did happen everywhere except for the island of sodor except mm. for places of conservation so all of those steam engines were killed and if a steam engine is scrapped they do die okay but the island of Sodor, Sir Topham Hatt, the fat controller for my UK listeners, um, he's like, no, I, I want these steam engines to stay alive. So he like keeps them maintained and everything. And so like it is like a haven for for steam engines to be on the island of Sodor because otherwise like everyone dies. Like there's actually a pretty dark book where um, Gordon is told the news that, hey, they, they sit Gordon down in, uh, in, in the station. And he like... Right. stands He's, up and he like crouches like onto a, a chair and they sit him down and they say hey bud hey um just needed to let you know um all of your brothers and sisters are dead every single one of them every uh every other uh pacific they've all been scrapped they're all dead every like they discontinued the line well yeah the british railways um scrapped every single one of them they didn't save a single one for conservation except the flying scotsman so, after telling him, hey... Is that a jet plane? Is no. that from JJ? No. They, so, they tell him, like, hey, so I hate to tell you this. Hate to be the one to tell you this. But all of your brothers and sisters are dead. Except Flying Scotsman. And so, Gordon is, like, understandably, like, kind of sad about that. They didn't have to tell him. They didn't have to tell him. He's on an island. Well, he did ask, though. He's like, hey, so, like, haven't heard from him in a while. What's going on? Uh, okay, hat's okay, like, okay, okay, okay. The hat's like, cool. Uh, hey, buddy, they're all dead. Um, they're like, but hey, Flying Scotsman's alive, so they have Flying Scotsman come visit. Because they're like, you two should like hang out, because like all of your family's dead, and they do, and that makes Gordon feel better a little bit. Is it is the Flying Scotsman 
uh, what is the what pronouns do they use? He him. Okay, so he's got a brother. He has a brother. One brother left. One brother left. Scotsman. Yeah. Which is a train. It yes. doesn't fly. No. Is he have Scottish accent? No. It's yeah. We have Donald and Douglas for that though. Uh, Douglas saved actually both of them. Yeah, that works. Although Donald could have been Irish. Well, but they're the Scottish twins. That would have been funny if one of them was Irish. That would be funny. Mm-hmm. George Carlin does a interesting interpretation of a Scottish accent when he's voicing Donald and Douglas, and I love that. Mm. Ringo didn't bother trying. Really? Yeah, Ringo just like gave them like his normal voice because he's Ringo, and he doesn't oh, want to yeah. give the characters voices. Well, he's a Beatle. You he's, he, this, the, like his name sells. Yeah, I have to stop talking about Thomas the Tank Engine. Okay, but. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's I'm, surprisingly deep and I I'm not bored. I'm thrilled. I just was like, <laughs> I wanted to be very clear that I'm like, I'm going to let you like unfurl as long as you need to. But like, it did feel like a little bit of like human trafficking a little bit. It's wild. So and like, like it's, the, 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 the minutia politics and like, it, like it's tough because it's like the, the one thing that they, so like I have heard some people, I believe even unlucky tug describe it as like, Oh yeah. Him. They're, they're kind of like, they're kind of, they're kind of like dogs in that like dogs just like they don't and this is a take that I don't My dog know. has a face. Right. I don't but know. it's just a tool. <laughs> I don't know if I like agree with this completely but it has been said that he's like People say. People say this. And you can go google it and and some come people's up. explanation I think this is actually based on like an explanation that the reverend tried to give when someone was like, "Hey, is this like wrong?" <laughs> yes. Um, well, no, as a good Christian man. Well, I mean, it's coming from it's a, pious. It's coming from an interesting, questionable place. I mean, we're coming yeah. from an old school religious guy. So, like, let's take everything with a grain of well, salt. And, and for what it's worth, too, it, it really is just kind of like it, it, it was never meant to it's be this fiction. deep. It's just story. Like, it's just story. It's just fun to, like, contextualize right. it in real world things because it's like sometimes sometimes like the. the the exposed viscera of tearing it apart is much more enjoyable than mm-hmm. the original intact form. Yeah. So, um, some people say that it's like, they're like, they're like dogs Media. where like a dog doesn't aspire to have like free will and autonomy generally. Go ahead. Airbud. Generally. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Like a dog just wants to be like loved and cared for and yeah. have a good life. Mm hmm. Allegedly. Allegedly. Generally. Uh, and that, like, the trains yeah, are similar. Right, right. In that way. That the trains just want to, like, do a task, be useful. Oh, uh, okay. And I get it. The trains are autistic. The trains... We, we want to do a task. The we trains wanna, are... I want to I, I wanna do the thing I like. I want to do the same thing every day. Right. And I want to get it done, and it feels good. Yeah. The trains are tools... Of the state. With faces... That don't could have they autonomy, just make trains, except for when they do. Could they just make trains without a face? So, interesting that you should say that. Also, that opened the calendar somehow. I mean, calendar, calculator. Oh. Um, uh, so What is going on? The trains all have, in the railway series, every train has a face. Every single train. The Wait, the railway series? The books. Okay. Which is Thomas the Tank Engine. Well, the, no, the railway series is the railway series. It's separate. Thomas is part of it? Thomas is a character in the Railway series, but he's not the main character. Who's the main character of the Railway series? There isn't one. Thomas, the Railway series is an anthology series about all of the trains on the island of Sodor. Oh, okay. When they adapted it to being a show, they were like, well, that's not going to work. We need a main character. So they picked Thomas because they felt like his kind of hero's journey was something that like kids could understand and aspire to. And they thought it would do better if it had a face, if you will. Of the brand, yeah, yeah, okay, Which, that makes sense. In that regard, they were absolutely like, correct. For it a made TV, it, for a TV adaptation, because then it's Thomas and Friends. Like, right. it made it much more successful. Um, so, like, it, it makes sense why they did it, but that was why they did it. Interesting. Um, so, I can't remember what I was saying. Uh, we were just talking about how uh, why they have faces, and oh. like, are there trains without faces? Yeah, because like, the, so, like, could they just make non sentient trains? I like, don't know I, who's cho- is that's the thing is I don't know who's cho- if they're choosing to give them sentience it's never really explained because you never see a train without a face in the books as far as I know don't come for me could um, it just be an, an interpretation of like like in 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 the reality the trains 
don't have faces. Like the, the, it's it's not. It's it's a it's a device of like it's we're personifying. We're giving life to the train, in a sense, and then it manifests visually as a face. But it, they don't actually. Or do they actually have a face? What does it feel like? They actually have a face. Would you kiss a train if he was hot? Would you kiss Jimmy? James. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, because he's a baddie. <laughs> Oh, help. Oh, help. <laughs> oh, no, my caboose is loose. Listen, James has a point. Mm-hmm. Um, so, fun fact about the faces. Do you think that Henry wouldn't leave because he was meeting up with his grinder? It, he's like, I have to host. <laughs> I have to host. I can't leave the tunnel, guys. I have to host. I don't want to pull out. Um, the trains have eyes that can get bloodshot, implying that they have blood. Work with that. No one makes me believe my own blood. You understand? Yeah. Also, so like in real life, in actual trains in real life. I've heard of them. The faceplate, for lack of mm-hmm. a better term, it actually does open because excess soot that mm-hmm. doesn't make it up the funnel yeah. collects there and they have to sweep oh, it out. Oh, okay. That's really so, cool, actually. Yeah. Um, so the actual like faces on trains open. In Thomas the Tank Engine, Uh it was generally believed that it's like, okay, well, they have real faces, so they probably don't open. And and sometimes it talks about how the trains sneeze. And so it was like, oh, that's like, maybe that's it. Maybe that's funny. Like, because you can't clear it out, they have to clear it out by sneezing. That's actually really clever. Right. If Uh, Right. Right. I feel like that's not... Until... Oh. In one of the books, uh-huh. the good reverend decides to state... Hallow be that name? ...that they open one of their faces and sweep them out. Implying that the face does, in fact, swing around, not unlike a door. And that, for example, if, like, two trains were next to each other and one was slightly ahead and the other wanted to, like, you know, shit talk the one behind him... If he had the autonomy, he could swing his face out and look back at the other one. Yeah. If you were fucking a train, would you and he'd look back and he looks at, at me it? from the back? <laughs> if I'm hitting that train from the back mm-hmm. and he looks back at me. And I looked at him. Oh, help. <laughs> no. Will the top never come? No. no. <laughs> Not if you keep your face turned around. I. So that implies <laughs> that. They <laughs> that their they, entire consciousness is encapsulated in their face. They're a face plate, right? But that's just the face. They feel their whole they, bodies. They need to be putting like it has to be something where like a human soul gets like through some process bound. Like it has to be like prisoners. Train. Yeah. Like I feel like it, it's like a death row inmate. Like you right. could either get the chair or you could become a train. Henry was originally like Jean Paul. Yeah. Or some, or, or Marcus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or Emilio. Yeah. It could be anything. Or uh, uh, Green G- Bay. Oshkosh. Like, Jonathan. He could, he could have been Adam. Yeah. Could and then they Penelope. Put, and they put a Penelope pit stop. And, oh, then, honey. and then they put them in the train. Could you imagine if like, if you didn't get scrapped, it'd be kind of cool for just a little bit. I feel like you, well, with the slavery, that would explain why they're, also, they're not treated as human. So there also is like interesting stuff where it's like, and I think like as one of the, are there ex- any trains of color? Well, they're, they're arguably non-racial because their faces are gray. Oh, okay. But you know, all of their faces are gray, no matter what. Mm-hmm. Uh, like so, they're alien. Oh, oh, alien tech. Oh, good thing. That would be funny. Yeah. And then we just subjugated them. That would explain why they're not human. Also, so they don't get rights. Also, so they made some interesting choices. But no trains of color. Interesting. I'll note that. Yeah. They the, made the some, good reverend. Well, they well, made some, pious. So they made some interesting choices uh-huh. in the model series of of trains. So like in the books. All the steam engines have like gray faces. Okay, which makes sense. Right, plasticky face. Right. What do they feel like? I don't know. Mm. And then, but for some reason, the diesels 
their faces sometimes are the gray faces, like in the case of the titular Diesel. Mm-hmm. Um, not the character. Diesel. Not Diesel. But then some of the other ones, they just okay, like the park. <laughs> they kept their fa- their their faces body color. Okay. So uh, allow me to show you a quick example from the purity of the original text. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, need yeah, you yeah. need you need reference material. This this begs another question that I'll I'll wait a second on. Okay. So for example, this is the first oh, I'm not showing one from the CGI series. Who do you think I am? Um so this is that's Diesel. Yeah. His name is Diesel. He's very he good. is a Diesel and his name is Diesel. It keeps opening the calculator. Why? I really don't know. What is Did it open like six calculators? I don't know. We didn't even touch it. I can't make it stop. It's not hurting anybody. It's fine. Um, It's not? Well. Okay. So that's Diesel. What's up? It, it It opened like nine calculators. Yeah. And we didn't. Diesel. So Diesel. I put him away. So Diesel has a gray face. I don't. I think we're messing with things we shouldn't be. <laughs> we're asking questions that people aren't ready to hear. This railway is haunted. Oh, okay. So a lot of people make oh, yeah. like creepy pastas, like, and like they'll like animate them and stuff. Oh, of like dark Thomas <clears throat> the Tank Engine stories and some of the, you like, played that game. What Choo Choo Charles? Yeah. yeah, and like I, I don't know. I I love everybody's creativity. That's cool. That's great for them. I think it's a little tired to be like, ooh, we took the childhood thing and made it scary. Mm-hmm. It's a little tired, but I get it. Have fun. I like that, but I don't want to watch it. I've watched a couple and it's always like, ooh, the scrap engines are ghosts or like oh, we ripped we ripped their faces off and put them on new bodies and wiped their memories. And now the trains are having an existential crisis once they realize like, oh my God, my old corpse is down there. Well, yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 I mean, that's, that's what they probably do. Tired. You they didn't do that to Harry. They didn't do that Taking to Taking prisoners and their real people and turning them into trains and their souls help power it because someone's fucked up. But then some of the engines, they, not wooden railway. I'm fighting for my life here. Railway series, Daisy. So then, but, other, Daisy. but then other diesels, they keep their face body color. Well, so that makes sense because it's not like a locomotive. It doesn't have the big face plate. Oh, I'm hitting the button. That's on me. Was it your ass? It was my thick, juicy thigh the... that these people wish was around mm-hmm. their head. <laughs> Honey, you've got a big <laughs> storm coming. That's you get a point for that one. Yeah, <laughs> work. That's two points so far. So yeah, so that's Daisy. Uh-huh. This, is a, this is this is a personal favorite interpretation of Daisy. Well, actually, you said they are like dogs. They are like dogs. Some people say that. Some people. I didn't say, say that. I don't know where I land on the, the issue. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Daisy in the oh. railway series. They were like, "We'll keep her face body color," and they do that with a lot of the Diesels. Um, oh. the model series decided that. So keep in mind, Daisy was the first female presenting locomotive shown in the model series. And so they felt that the best way to represent that was pink with a bow was like this. <laughs> they gave her blush. They gave her blush, I, and eyeshadow, eyeshadow and lashes. I mean, it works. You know that it's a girl train. Right. Stereotypically right. girl train. Mm-hmm. So then not pink though. Right. So then in some, um, I can't remember in one of the airing, like one of the countries that aired it, they were like, that's really sexist and bad. We don't like that. In the nineties. Yeah. Late eighties, early nineties. And they said, that's fucked. Why does the girl train have to like be like done up like that? Why does girl Wobbuffet have to have lips? Right. Well, because they're juicy. Well, they were like, you know, it's, it's just weird that like the only girl train has to have those things. Like if a girl train wants to have makeup, we love that for her. But like, yeah, that's your only way of showing that she's a girl. That feels sexist. That was what they said. And that was why they yeah. didn't air any of the Daisy episodes. 
Well, that which that feels that feels more sexist. that feels bad in its own way. That, well, that feels more misogynist. Like, I'm like, so now you're going to erase one of the. Ooh, that's some white liberal overcorrection characters? kind of shit. It was an interesting take. Mm-hmm. Um, what I find really fun though is so again, remember this is Daisy's face. Daisy's this face. This is Daisy's face. Mm-hmm. But we got makeup on it. Um, Jamie, so, pull that shit up. So, uh, do you notice any similarities between Daisy's face? And another big diesel um, from the series. The only other like good diesel that was a similar shape. That's named Boko. I have a question. I'd love that. I'd like. I'd like to skip ahead so in whatever Boko. you're about to tell me. Right. Is there a point where Boko is no longer in the show and Daisy <laughs> is in the show? No. So we don't have a trans train. We don't. Do Boko or do we ever see Boko and Daisy in the same? Yes. Fuck. Sorry. But you're telling me they didn't just put the Boko. F- they put the Boko face in drag. Uh, they really and said it's Daisy. I'm a gal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you couldn't even. There's like, no way. You couldn't even make Daisy her own face. They just used the same model. I'm like, give her this. They just threw you, some makeup on Boko. Do you think they use the Boko model, record all of his stuff, and then they just paint all that and on? And they put that on, and they said, now she's you, Daisy. You don't think, you, do you think they bought a second train? A second Boko? Well, they made them all by hand. Oh. But I'm like, you could have made a couple well, of faces, Well, I guess if there's two, guys. if they're in the same scene, unless... They make extra faces. Mm. Angry Daisy. That's a That's a good angry Daisy. That's an angry Daisy. I guess, like, it's, I don't know, is it really that bad that, like, it does distinguish her? Um, It's just odd, because she's also the only one that they did that with. And they don't do that in the books. So in the books, well, they they're just like... they can't get the trained tits. Well, in the books, it's like, maybe we just take them at their pronouns and go. Like, mm-hmm. Daisy can look however she wants, and if she says, I'm she, then we all call her she, and she doesn't whoa, have whoa, to have whoa, 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 whoa. No off-topic questions. Uh, uh, uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah! You're gonna open the calculator if you're not careful. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> but to calculate how much that part. So they were like, I, I, that makes sense now. So in the I books, they were like, none of them have makeup, none of them have anything. They're they just, just trains. They're just trains. Because why would a train have eyelashes? Right. And if it's a girl, it's a girl. And if it's a boy, it's a boy. And if it doesn't identify as anything, then it doesn't. What genitals did the train got? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And show then, us what's in the caboose. And then in the show, they were like, nah, she a girl train, though. Like, give her makeup. I see now. And then later, when they but, introduced- Because they are gender neutral. A lot. Some of them are. Some of them literally are, like, gender neutral characters. Or, like, I guess, like, they, they're, well, I guess, I don't know. Are you, If they're just the faceplate. Right. Or they're just that- See, but Daisy feels like she's actually more of the train than Thomas is, since Thomas can open up. Okay, he can open up that fussy, right? The face pussy, right? It's trussy, it's train. Later, uh huh. Female locomotives, diesel or steam, they just have faces. There's okay. no makeup. Is Daisy the only? Daisy one? is the only locomotive ever in the model series to be wearing makeup like that. That's insane. Yeah. Because later on they were like, oh, maybe we don't have to like over exaggerate the the femininity to represent this as a female. Mm-hmm. So it's an interesting character choice that Daisy alone and only in the model series has all that makeup, and then other later females like Mavis um, don't. Don't. They don't have makeup. Oh, I thought "don't" was the name of one don't. of them. Mavis. Mavis. Don't. don't. Famously. Same. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's interesting. Mm. It's interesting. Wow. Probably not to many people, but uh, no, it's fascinating. Like, just to have the one. Yeah. Right. 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 So the sphere. I'd love to hear about the sphere. Yeah, I, I, I think you've been trying to get me to get you out of it, but I've like, been trying to end the Thomas discourse, and I can't get out. Well, like, there's just so much. There's we so went much. way deeper than we did last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to forget the sphere. So they added, we were just talking about like gender neutrality and stuff. So there is a diesel who in the books was uh, used uh, he, him. Oh. Rusty. They used he, him. Uh Uh-huh. 
Um, so she became in, Rustica in, in the model series. Uh-huh. So Wait, in the model, show, okay, in the show. okay, model series. You mean the show? So in the show, there was the model series where they used like model trains, oh, and then okay. later they switched to CGI. That's what you mean when you're saying model. Yes. Okay. In the model series Got era, it. when Britt Al- Brit Alcroft was in charge, even though it was early '90s, she decided that she wanted gender neutral representation on the show. She felt like that mattered. So when was this? Like early '90s. Based. Like, yeah, like '94. Yeah. She was like, "It's important that we have." She gets a point. Um, they get a point. <laughs> she um, she wanted some more female characters on it, and she also wanted gender neutral representation. So, um, in the uh, model series specifically of the show interpretation of it, um, Rusty is always uses gender neutral pronouns, and they kept it that way. Only Rusty. Yes. Oh. So everybody else is either he uses he him or she her, but Rusty specifically uh, uses they them or just like as referred to as Rusty or the little diesel engine. That's cool. A little non-binary representation, a little mm-hmm. ahead of its time. Now, later on, once Britt Allcroft was no longer around to enforce that, they just switched Rusty back to he, like from the books. Oh, so when it, when Rusty was placed in an unsafe environment, he kind of had to, they kind of had to like detransition for their own safety, which is a real thing, especially since yesterday was the trans day of visibility to, to, to bring it all full center, baby. Mm-hmm. Which is un- unfortunately one of the, that's one of the few reasons that, that like really does affect people and it's really unfortunate. So I hope that anybody who is even just non-binary, gender queer in general has a, a safe place to explore and express yourself because being authentic is the best thing you can do. And being around people who dim your light uh, can go suck balls. Yeah, unless they want to. Yeah, and then they, then they can suck quit. That. But if they want to do both, like tell them to eat shit. Yeah, and if they also want to do that, uh, make they're them do, shit eaters. Make Don't them, listen. To make them. them do homework. Yeah, uh, and if they like doing that, punch them. <laughs> shoot them in the shoot them in the fucking head. We don't advocate violence. non-lethally. <laughs> you get a point. With, shoot, toggle it. Toggle it. Shoot them with something they don't want. I have to call the week off. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know how many worms I ate. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. go ahead. The um, sphere. It's not that exciting. How long have we been? <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! Welcome to episode one hundred and one, where uh, Eric won't shut the fuck up about trains. Oh. Specifically, Thomas the Tank Engine. Why won't the top come? When people say Thomas the Train, <laughs> it hurts me on a spiritual level. I'm he's like, a tank I'm engine. Like, he's a tank engine. He's not a train. Also, he's not a train because. He's a locomotive. He's well, a same. train is the whole thing. He's a, Exactly. He's a steam engine. You he's a early. tank engine. He's a locomotive. He's a lot of things, but he's not a train. He's not just a train. He's he's the ne- he's now, baby. And he's part of it. Oh, my God. Please tell me about this fear and then let us okay. go. Well, well, yeah, I had another thing, but I, I forgot it already. <laughs> so, You're going to realize, how, like, so in Vegas. <laughs> okay. In Vegas, Las yeah, Vegas, yeah. This is Nevada. this is this is a real real down uh, down the hill. This is the top came. Oh, oh no, <laughs> that's good. The top, the top came. came. The top came. Yeah, let's 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 do that one. Okay. I like that. Yeah, because <laughs> like that's a good way to explain <laughs> the top came. The top came. Um, so in YouTube Ve- shadow pan the episode. <laughs> So in Vegas, they spent a metric fuck ton of money okay. to build this giant LED sphere. Like Epcot? Y- like bigger than Epcot. Ew. Like you can see it from far Space. away. And like it it was supposed to like bring them in money. This and is stuff. like on the strip? It's on the strip. Okay, work. Um it is blindingly bright. Um, how when when was this done? I, I don't, you didn't even watch the Eddie Bur- Burback video. On I this? don't watch Eddie Burback. Oh, that's see so you're missing. I mean, he's great. He is, and actually, he's actually, great. I just honestly never watch it, but I, like he I, seems really actually, cool. Actually, Eddie Burback's channel is really good. I actually also really enjoy Burback, the With channel his he brother. does his brother. Yeah, that, those ones are always really good. Mm-hmm. Um, so the sphere in Las Vegas, so like it's literally a gigantic sphere, and 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 you like. They've been trying to make money out of it. It's like they'll pay for advertisements. 
Like someone once like paid to like play League of Legends on it. That eyeball is a fucking nightmare. Could you imagine like having to like work near the strip or whatever? How or like, is it like that you big? have to like drive and like that's like part of your fucking thing. And it's so fucking bright. And you can go inside it. You can buy tickets to go inside. And it's actually um apparently a really cool like light show, like inside. Um Oh yeah, there's a picture of the inside. Yeah. But like what is this? Oh, I hate this. Yeah, it's the worst. I, I'm so surprised you didn't know about this here. I didn't know about this. Yeah. I'm so unplugged from things. Gosh. I mean, when was the last time we went to Vegas? The only, like, news I get is things that are, like, news and directly relevant to the shit I watch. Like, I heard about the boat. Oh, yeah. That broke the bridge, but that's just because I watched, like, Big Old Boats. Yeah. <laughs> and they had to weigh in. The channel's Big Old Boats. Don't look at me like that. Thank you. I mean, I, I got it from Philip DeFranco, Thank so, you. like, that's where I get my news. Yeah. But but you got that's your news you from your news. Big Old Boats. <laughs> Actually, I specifically got it from um, Ocean Liner Designs. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your friend here, Mike Brady from Ocean Liner Designs. God, I, I. Which I'm like, Mike. We could throw in a, we could throw in a, ladies and gentlemen, and and um. Non-binary. Pals. Yeah, we could do a, we could do a, uh, howdy, howdy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It's your friend Mike Brady from howdy Ocean Liner Doody. Designs. Howdy doody, my little tooties. There's this channel that I love to watch where he uh, he he talks about Halo. It's Ben plays games. He talks about Halo. Oh, he wow. has some interesting insights on like level design and everything. Interesting. And he always uh, introduces his episodes as um, "Hello, boys, girls, and Spartans." Oh, where? Implying that there are three genders. Yeah. Boy, girl, Spartan. That sounds correct. And I like that. Any kid with a 360 agrees. Yeah. Like, what's in your pants? Spartans. <laughs> One one seven. One one seven's in my pants. What do you got? One, one Cortana. One oh four's in my pants. Oh. <laughs> Frederick. Ah. I was about to say, is it Fred? Uh. Is it the boy? It's yeah. My... Yeah. Like so, there's this giant sphere. That's horrifying. Yeah. Look at this picture. They turned it into an eye. That's Meta's nightmare. Imagine seeing this. I don't care for that. I don't respond yeah. to that. Uh, you shouldn't. <laughs> that was U two. Apparently, U two open Las Vegas. That's sphere. disgusting. And like. I don't like that. Apparently, because it, the thing is so expensive and so bright, it also has advertisements on it. Go go watch the Eddie Burback video on it. It was fucking great. We're in a, we're in a bad timeline. <laughs> well, yeah. Everything went wrong after they shot the gorilla. We're in a CGI timeline. Dicks out for Harambe. Mm-mm-mm. I just... This video sphere like it wasn't that interesting i mean it was good to know though yeah it was good to know. so you wouldn't love me if i was a chair i think we i think we gotta go i don't think we i think I, we should stay no i think we gotta go i'm I, so tired from the 100th episode there's i'm so there tired. isn't gonna be a 100th episode you stupid slut <laughs> I'm, I'm so tired from it and i'm definitely go. making them you don't even work. have to do that you can just click outro but and it'll I'll, switch to outro but I you're gonna start to the calculator to to, i love the calculator I, okay goodbye i fucking hate you Peace. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Tell three friends about the podcast and sound off in the trough below, you little content-loving hog, rolling around in the pig pen, clamoring for more slop.